Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a look at the Beavercraft Leather Paddle Honing Strop and I'm going to explain how to use one. Alright everybody, welcome back. So what you have in front of you here is the Beavercraft Leather Paddle Honing Strop. I will put a link down below where you can pick it up. They run about $17.95, so you figure 18 bucks. And yes, you can make your own. Yes, there are cheaper ones. There are all sorts of different types. I picked this one because I like the handle. I like the thickness of it. It gives me enough distance off my table where I can get a nice smooth um, pull across there. But I'm going to give you a little bit of information on what a strop is because I'm sure some of you have never used one when you sharpen your knives. Strop is a surface that you use, after, you use after the finest stone. It's the final stage of sharpening. So let's say I'm using this on 6,000 grit. I'm all done. I like my edge. I go over here and I strop it. And you will strop it. I'll show you this in a second by just kind of dragging it backwards over it. The point of the strop is to get rid of any burrs left over or any kind of edge that might not be perfect and to polish the edge. It makes for a sharper, better edge. It also makes for a very shiny edge, as you can see here. That's just absolutely... The light's kind of getting in the way there, but that thing is like... Let me put it like this. You can put this down and reflect the actual writing in the edge of the blade. So it does make for a very, very nice, uh, a nice finished edge. Now you'll notice one side here is green and one side isn't. That's compound. This does come with a mid-grade kind of compound. You can get finer and that's one of the reasons why I haven't put anything on this side yet. Um, I'm going to put the finer compound on here. Do you need it? Well, you don't really need it. I know that uh, when I was a little kid I used to go to an old school barber. This was in the 70s and this place just it was just, it was like right out of a movie scene. You can smell the cigar smoke and the old men standing around. And anyway, he had a strop on the side of his chair, and it had no compound on it. Some people, when they're using it for like straight razors and stuff, don't use a compound. I find a compound helps to work a little better. Gives you a really nice, shiny, smooth, very sharp edge, and the edge stays a nice long time. Now, whether you want to use a compound or not really is a matter of personal preference. Um, you can get excellent results either way. But it does make for a little bit easier, and uh, you could even do one side and not the other side. So let's say you wanted to do a couple strokes here, and then you wanted to use a compound to finish it. Real simple to do. The nice thing about this strop is that it's big enough to do all sized knives. But we're going to get into a little more information on these. But um, when you have a little tiny one like what I was working with here, it's kind of hard to do bigger, bigger knives. One thing's for sure, after your final step of sharpening, you're going to have burrs on your knife edge. You won't be able to see them, but they're going to be there. You might even have a bit of a wire edge where both sides kind of come up, and this little top, top part here is the wire, like a little thin, weak edge. So while it will feel sharp, it won't be as sharp as it should be, and it won't hold the edge long. So if you want to make your knives perform better, a strop really does a good job. So let's get into the info on the information on the strop itself. This is a double-sided strop, as I showed you before. The polishing compound is included. I do like the handle on this. You know, it's, it's, it just feels thick enough to actually do work with. I did make one of my own many years back on a thin little piece of wood with an old belt, and it is a real leather belt, and I just glued it down. And it's, it's, it's so thin that you really have a tough time getting the right, you know, cause your hand's hitting the table and you're not getting the right angle. So yeah, you can put it on top of something, but I figured I'd want a better strop anyway. And I um, wanted to give this one a try. And it does come with the green compound. Like I said, there are finer compounds. And I'm going to show you how to load this up in a sec here. Um, you can just take this. You know, these are kind of like big crayons, essentially. You can take this and just wipe it down and run it back and forth. I wanted to get the one I used before. Here we go. But you're going to get a really uneven edge. You know, I don't know if you can see the the streaks on there. You're not going to get a real even, smooth kind of uh, coverage. What I do is I use a heat gun. I'm going to show you that in a second here. So let me get that ready, and I'll bring you right back. And just for information, you do not need to have a heat gun. It will work just as well with a hairdryer. I just have a heat gun out here. So I keep it on the lowest setting on there. And what I'll do is I'll just warm it up a little. And then I'll take this and run it across. Kind of warming it up as I go. You'll get a much more even coverage with this. You'll also notice after you've used it and you're reloading it, you see the black on there? That's metal that's taking off. And you just keep a nice, even, smooth kind of 
working back and forth there. Let me turn this off with my left hand. Okay. And you'll just run it back and forth like that. That will make your job so much easier. Because if you do this and you just streak it across there, it's going to, first of all, it's going to look messy. You're going to get clumps. And you don't want clumps. See, you kind of got a clump in the corner there that I've had since I did it the first time. And a little clump here. You don't want that. So, needless to say, that's how I load it up. There's tons of other ways to do it. You can do it any way you choose. Not really difficult. Let me show you the correct way to use it. Now, we're going to do this with a couple of knives here. Um, I showed you the SEMA one, and that's already done. This is another SEMA knife that they have that has a little fire starter in it. Um, I'm going to drag it across here like this. I'm just going to drag it across backwards. Nice and slow. Now, when you do load it, you're going to get that green uh, polishing compound on your knife. It wipes right off. And just pull it across there. So no matter what sharpener you're using, even if you're using the cheapest little pull-through sharpener, this is going to give you a better, stronger edge. And just for the record, I will put a link to this one down below, but if you find one that's cheaper or better or more to your liking, by all means, buy it. You don't have to buy this particular one. I just liked it. I liked the way it looked. I liked the fact that it had two sides so I could load two compounds on it or load no compound on it and just kind of do it that way. So, wow, yeah. And I did sharpen this, but I didn't strop it. I know the camera won't pick up me shaving hair here. But, yeah. It definitely does. Definitely shaves hair. <laughs> so, definitely a cool little addition to your sharpening tools. And even if you're not that good sharpening, this will kind of cover up some of your mistakes. If you're trying to bring an edge back, this isn't going to work. This is your final step. Now, remember I said you wanted to do bigger knives on this. You can do bigger knives, I mean. Well, this is the Schrade. Let me read the numbers because I always get confused. SCHF52M. Pretty big knife. You can take this and easily go across there. No problems at all. So, I hope I was able to give you a little bit of information on what a strop is for, for those of you that don't know about it and uh, show you a little cool product. I definitely like it. I'm going to be using this a lot more. Um, I've been using it like crazy um, because I just find it's such... You, you won't believe me until you actually use a strop. And I don't care if you make your own. I don't care if you buy it. Trust me, just find a piece of leather and use it on a knife and you will be absolutely amazed at how much better a result you get with your sharpening. So anyway, folks, that is the Beavercraft Leather Paddle Honing Strop Kit. They run, like I said, about 18 bucks. I will put it down below if you're interested in picking one up. It does come with the compound. You can buy other grits of compound online. Um, so if you're only going to get this green one, you might want to get a finer one or a heavier one, depending on your needs. And uh, simple to load. You saw how I did that with the, um, the heat gun. And you can see along here with a little black. That's kind of where some of the metal has started to come off, you know, when you're honing the edge. So definitely a cool addition to your sharpening tools. Uh, a little bit big, say, for portable use, but in my bug out bags, what I did with this, I took this thing here, and I just chopped a little piece off and stuck it in my, uh, my bug out bags and my sharpening tools. You know, I'll have like a work sharp in there, and uh, I don't have the, the leather strop on the one I have in there, and I just have a little piece. Now, maybe it's about that long, because <laughs> you can actually get your edge down, but it really does help. Even if it's not on anything, you can stick this on a rock and do it. So anyway... Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. I will put a link directly to this one in our store. But don't forget to check out the store as well. If there's nothing in the store you like, just click the link and then shop as you normally would on Amazon. doesn't cost anything. It really helps out our channel. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. I'm noticing a lot more people starting to use it. Um, if you have any questions on Thrive Foods, my email address is on the Thrive website. Or you can just leave it in the comments down below. I don't mind if you've got a question about Thrive. And uh, don't forget to check out our Olight link as well and our For Patriots link. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.